My name is Carlos Moretta and I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. We do a lot of facial trauma from the neck up, uh, reconstruction, uh, pathology, tumors, things like that that you cut out of people's faces and then you have to reconstruct them uh, and make them look, give them a semblance of what they looked like before. Surgery that prepares the gums or the jaws for dentures, implant uh, placement, jaw surgery. We break those jaws and reposition them. So many things you can do in oral and maxillofacial surgery. The traditional way is doing four years, one of the sciences, four years of dental school. Um, and then when you get to the, when you finish dental school, you have two options. You can either do a four year track, um, which is what I did. Uh, which at the end of you take a board exam and you're board certified or you can do the six-year track and the six-year track takes you through medical school so you finish dental school then you go back to medical school you do three years of medical school you get your MD now you have your DDS and your MD and then you do two years of oral and maxillofacial surgery specialty you better be bringing your A game you got to be good with your hands you have to like to to deal with patients um, you have to have uh, a good demeanor with other people that don't think like you do. Uh, you have to be able to put out fires, uh, so to speak, uh, when it comes to interpersonal communications and things like that. You have to be creative. Uh, you have to be able to manipulate small, tiny little things very delicately and, uh, and, and be proficient at it. Time is probably the, the biggest check that you have to pay to get into oral and maxillofacial surgery. And that's true for medicine, and that's true for any career that takes you above a bachelor's. You have to invest the time, and you gotta like school, and you gotta like to be trained. But for a lot of people, that's a big sacrifice, you know? You can be in private practice only. You can be uh, in academics only, where you're teaching other people to be oral and maxillofacial surgeons, or teaching other dentists to be uh, oral surgeons. Um, you can have a delicate balance of both, which is what I have. Missions plays a big part of my life. When I go abroad, I just sometimes, you know, take my, uh, my services elsewhere on the body. If you got a mass on your head or a lump on your back, uh, I've been able to do some of those surgeries uh, in the mission field as well. The fact that I can take my specialty to the mission field and be very productive and, and provide patients uh, with care uh, to me is hands down one of the biggest perks of, of my field. To me it's important to, be, to wake up every day and to say I get to go to work today. And so um, when you come to work things can happen and you have to be thinking on your toes. And so it's, it's not a routine, it's, it's a variety every single day. Variety keeps you fresh, keeps you looking forward to work. So yeah, I think oral maxillofacial surgery is, uh, it's the whole package. I think, uh, yeah, I got the best job in the world.